So, do you know the roots of psychology? Uh, John Watson? Is he the guy, like, empiricism? So, they're, like, even going further back than Watson. Okay. Um, William. William James. Okay, yeah, William James is one of them. Oh, it's based off of like philosophy, right? Yeah, it's based off of philosophy. So like Socrates and uh, Aristotle and uh, Plato, things like that. So psychology first started with philosophers who started um, questioning the mind and the body and the spirit, how they all intertwine and things like that. So that's, that's one thing. Um, there's a, uh, do you know what phrenology is? I, I know it's an answer to the P, right? Yeah, so phrenology starts with the P. Um, there's, it's basically this idea that, like if you have, if you're happy, then your happiness is located like right here. Your frontal lobe. In your frontal lobe, but not, not really, the, they didn't call it your frontal lobe. They had, uh, so like, say that this is your brain. I, I don't know how to draw a brain. It looks like a skull. But let's say this is your brain. Um, and if you're happy, then happiness is located in this chunk. Okay? So happy. And if you're mad, it's located right here. And so things like that. So. The, it's a it's it's a defunct theory now. Phrenology is it's it's not valid. It doesn't work. But what they said is that you know if like somebody is happy, or they're I'm sorry if they're not happy, then you go through and you remove this like chunk of the brain, and then they just won't be happy or mad anymore. Like this will all just like go away. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's a defunct theory that people just thought was something. I think like what one time what they did is they like hit somebody in the head and they're like if we keep like massaging this area then it will help it to grow. What the heck? Yeah, so it's kind of it's it's weird, but it's something that people It's just because they didn't have like scientific proof to do anything, it's just like Yeah, they just it was just trial and error. They didn't know any better. Phrenology. Phrenology. So it's a defunct theory. It's not it doesn't work anymore. Okay. But it's just something that people used to believe in. Okay. Um can you kind of define for me what psychology is? Do you the study of the brain, of, uh, like the study of the behavior of people and why the way they act. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's a good definition. Um, I'm start the scientific study of mind and behavior. Yeah, so that was that's a great, that's great. Um, John Watson. Okay, so we'll just start off with my with my little notes that I had. Can do you know what reinforcement is? It's when you constantly or repeatedly do something which helps someone do it repeatedly. Also, it, it um, makes an imprint in their brain. I don't know. Yeah. So, so reinforcement. I have to write these on the board. It's like Pavlov or something, like a dog. Like, no, maybe not. Like, it's when you repeatedly do something and people remember it or something. Yeah, so it can be applied to Pavlov's dogs. Um, but reinforcement is basically just constant repetition. Um, Pavlov's dogs, um, Pavlov would 
whenever he would ring the bell, he would reinforce his dogs by giving them food, right? They would come running and he'd give them food. And so that would encourage, encourage the behavior of salivating when they would hear the bell. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. 